All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining the um, Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting today. Um, it is Thursday, October 19th. So on the agenda, I have a quick Hacktoberfest update. So John Mark, that will be for you. And then GSOC 2024 um, DevOps by the De DevOps Dozen Award nomination. Um, those were the three things that I thought we'd cover today, but is there anything else that I might have missed? Uh, no. Just see my name a couple of places in your notes, so I need to get ready. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> it should be easy. No worries. Yeah, I just okay, have a question ahead. to ask you. Okay, right, okay. so, um, okay, let us know how Hacktoberfest is going, John Mark. Uh, for me, it's going well. Uh, I need to compare it with last year to see the exact influence of uh, not having a physical reward for the participants, but uh, I see activity, I see a couple of new names. Uh, now, I was expecting more activity, but uh, I didn't uh, do extra publicity uh, uh, on that. So it's going well. Okay. Great. So moving on to GSOC 2024, um, yeah. as, uh, well, John, Mark, Bruno, and Chris and I, we met, uh, just right before this meeting and we have already started talking about, um, planning, uh, it's going to start for GSOC 2024. So we will be starting, we will start to talk about project ideas, discussions. We're going to be recruiting mentors as well. Um, but the org admin as a team, we will remain the same, which includes uh, Jean-Marc, Chris, Bruno, and myself. So very thankful for that. Any questions <laughs> before we move on or any comments? Well, uh, seeing the circumstances on my side during the summer, uh, I, I prefer that you put my name at the end of the list. If you Got don't it. mind. <laughs> There was no rhyme or reason. I just, <laughs> you had three letters to your name and that was fast. That was easy. Yeah, that me. was fast. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, and then DevOps Dozen Award nomination as I, this, I, I shared this on the community.jenkins.io channel that, you know, I was gonna, gonna go ahead and apply for Jenkins for this award. So I've started the document with the responses. So again, the the uh, the thought is trying to be transparent. Plus, in case there's additional input that you know anybody else within the community wants to add, um, please feel free to take a look at this. Add any other information that you know you think that would help us to win the award. Um, but basically what I did, there was a, um, there was a press release that, um, CDF did earlier. So I took a lot of the data from here and put that into the, um, the application. Um, I was told that they're, what they are looking for is rather than, um, quality, well, they, they want to see how data basically, right? So how are Jenkins better than another open source project? And I think numbers speaks volume. So there was a lot of good numbers that we we have here. So I just use a lot of that and transferred it into the application. But please feel free if there's additional input, I greatly appreciate it. Um. And then supporting links, again, I linked to the CDF page for that press release. I linked it to the Jenkins case studies, the user stories that we have so many of on Jenkins.io. Um, you know, the names of the sponsors for the project is also important. They are big names. And then John Mark, a question for you. 
So right. number of contributors, is there a link that I can yeah. use? Yeah, I'd, that... I'd put the, the link from the line explanation, the one I use. I'm going to provide them to you. These are... They, they only, I don't use them uh, because they're uh, anonymized. And yeah, we were looking uh, into the top uh, contributors. Mm -hmm. so, and, and my, my I, I think the Linux Foundation is uh, more visible. Okay. More, more easier to see. So I'm going to provide you with, uh, with that data. Okay. All right. Perfect. And then... Um... I wasn't sure whether to include this. It's, you know, it talks about state of the continuous delivery report. Um, it didn't specifically talk about Jenkins a whole lot. So I was on the fence, but, you know, I appreciate any um, second thoughts on this would be helpful. And then is there anything else that we should include here that I might have missed as a supporting link? to why Jenkins is should win this award? Um, something I noticed, Alyssa, uh, mm -hmm. it, I was wondering, or I'm wondering, um, would discussing or mentioning all the different collaborative projects and initiatives that we work with, uh, like She Code Africa, Google Summer Code, Hacktoberfest, Hack Day, mm -hmm. like all these sort of things, would that be a value in the supporting links at least, potentially? Uh, yeah, I, I think, so, so, so for She Code Africa, we were not active last year. Should I, do you think we should no. include that? No, but GSOC is worthwhile. G, yeah, GSOC. So let me put that down. I think, I think we had She Code Africa. We didn't do it this year, but I think we did have it, it last year. Right, right. Yeah, last in year we did. 2022 we had it, yeah. 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 Um, but that's that. not for this year, so that doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hacktoberfest. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks. I'll add links to that later. Yeah. When do you need that completed? Well, um, the it? deadline Next. is the 20th, unfortunately. Of October? Yeah. Tomorrow, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the link tonight. Okay. If you don't have it in your evening, shout. All right, I will. I'll, I'll do some searching as well. Um, anything else? On this subject, no. Okay. I have an additional item. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that, that's all that I have for our agenda. But you go ahead, Jean-Marc. Uh, it's preliminary, but uh, the chance that it goes through is super high now. Uh, we are starting to organize a contributor summit. Uh, to be held in uh, Europe uh, at the same time as the FOSDEM conference in Brussels. Um, unless, so the dates are uh, 3rd and 4th of uh, February. Uh, the the I, I think there is a very high likelihood that it will take place. Uh, it will take place. Uh, so the, the question here to the group is how are we going to announce that? Um, I, I have a room for that. Now we just need to fill it with activities. Um, we need to tell the people well in advance so that they can organize the travel. Uh, it will be held on the Friday. Okay. So on the 2nd of February. Correct. And not far away from uh, the venue of the conference. Uh, 
and the conference is during the weekend, so third and fourth. And normally, we will have a Jenkins booth at that uh, conference. Yeah, and I applied for the table, so no response yet from the organizers. Um, um, so to I think to answer your question, we can start. Um, so I I sent out a a couple of links to you, John Mark. Yeah. And so we can start um, with you know taking a look at what we've done in the past, what uh -huh. the what the agenda looks like in the past, and then um, I got, well, something I'm going on to, paper. Right. I'm going to. Based on that, build a project and then discuss it uh, with you before we come back to the group here with yeah. the actual plan. Does that sound correct? Yeah. Yeah. That okay. Sounds let's good. do it that way. But at least there is the intention to organize a contributor summit in beginning of February. Right. And at least I'll be there. Maybe yeah. not any special activity. Yeah, it'll be interesting to find out that who can travel. That's the yeah, that's yeah. that's that'll be a challenge, right? So my task is that for the next uh, outreach sig meeting, unless it full when when is it in two weeks? No, let's say for for the outreach meeting beginning of November, mm -hmm. uh, that we can then present the first draft. Uh, of the things to do and how we're going to to get that organized. What do you think, Melissa? Yeah, I think that that works. So it gives us some time, yeah. the two of us, to get that prepared and, and ongoing. Right. At least we can get the initial draft and discussion started. Yeah, we need we need to to let it be known to people. Save the date. Uh, that we're, we'll be present at FOSDEM and that we'll do something special. Yeah. Looking forward for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Right. Anything else? No. Cool. Okay. Then that's it. We can call it a day. Okay. Good night, Chris. Good. Thank you very much. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. -bye. bye.